Hey y'all and welcome back to Island Beautiful Hustler TV. I know it's been like almost two weeks y'all and I do apologize in advance but I am back with another video today for our coloring series aka our sweet tooth uh, color series and before we get into this video uh, this hair is provided by OMG Her Hair and this is a kinky straight 18 inch wig okay this is a kinky straight wig y'all and by the time i am done with this wig it ain't even gonna look kinky straight like it's going to be so bomb and this wig is an 18 inch um as i um you know told you guys earlier and it's extremely full it's a very full density um and all the details to this wig will be listed down below the lace is transparent lace so it was easy for me to you know blend this lace in with my skin and um, the first thing I'm going to show you for this video is how I do the water bleach method. Now, um, I decided to do this method because I wanted to see if it was, you know, a faster process than actually going through the hair and applying the bleaching powder, like, you know, by hand, by your, you know, by, by yourself and going section by section. And I actually love this method way more, especially because I just really wanted to get like a nice brown color tone and this wig gave me more than what I was expecting. So what I did was um, took some BW2 powder and um, I filled my sink up, you know, I put the stopper in and I filled my sink up with some hot water from the faucet and I took some bleaching powder and poured it right into that water. And I also poured some 40 the volume, um, 40, the vo 40 volume developer, excuse me y'all, a little tongue tied. But um, I took that volume developer and I also poured it in that water. And now I'm just going to take the wig and just dip it in and out that water, in and out and just comb through it so I can make sure that the hair is saturated completely with that combination of that hot water that uh developer and that bleaching powder and um just for future reference you do want to use gloves that way you don't have to keep stopping to wash your hands to make sure it don't burn and i didn't have any gloves so i just kind of had to like wing it but however i did let that um sit in that combination for i'm gonna say about 30 minutes because i want to take a shower you know wash my face you know vibe for a little bit and then i came back and checked on the hair and now that it's at this brown color and like i mentioned i did want a nice uh, you know a nice brown shade um once i took it out the water and see that it turned nice and brown and it was also very even toned which i loved um because you know sometimes when you bleach hair you get different shades of the brown in your wig but the way this wig bleached was just too bomb like it looked it too good so once i you know removed that wig out of that um little you know combination water bleach and all of that stuff i did go ahead and shampoo it first um with my tresemme conditioner with my tresemme shampoo and then once i got it washed in there really really good you know i made sure i scrubbed it and you know i rinsed it out with cold water i'm gonna go in with the conditioner and make sure i condition it as well and i did let the conditioner um, you know, just sit on there for a few minutes as I comb through it and really massage it in. And I'm also going to rinse that out with cool water as well. But once I am done with this whole process, I will actually get into what you guys been asking me for a very long time. And that's on how I do my plucking. So make sure you stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, just subscribe now because you don't want to miss more from this series. And now so that I am done with conditioning this wig, I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on a mannequin. And this is what the hairline looks like before I do any plucking. You know, it's kind of slightly pre-plucked, but you know, I really wanted a very natural looking hairline. So I'm going to go ahead and, be, you know, begin to do the plucking. Now, I slowed this video down because I want to show you guys um, the type of tweezers that I like to use, which is the flat end ones as I was showing you. And I like to pluck the hair um, in sections and I just pull the tweezers straight back as I pull the hairs out so that is pretty much how I just pluck it and I do like a um, how you call it like I do like a level type of plucking thing like I first pull down the hair um, from the front of the hairline and I start to pluck 
behind the hairline and then once I feel like um, I plucked enough in that section I do part off another section behind the section that I just plucked and I pluck out some more and I just like to you know make sure I pluck a little extra because you never know how much lace you are going to cut off once you actually put the wig on your head and actually install it because sometimes and I know a lot of us can relate we done plucked the whole hairline and everything like that in the front and then you put the wig on your client and everything that you just plucked got to get cut off and now it's like you aggravated so um just quickly showing you guys what it looks like on this side that i did not pluck versus the side that i did pluck and now i'm gonna go ahead and get into um that middle section so i'm gonna start further back first um i'm gonna do kind of like the opposite on the you know left side i did the front and then went backwards but here i'm going to start from the back and work my way to the front and that's because this center part of the wig was really really dense and i hate having like that pre-plucked hairline and then it goes into their super super thick like buck bulky elvis presley type of you know fullness like we don't want that with the wig so i like to go in where it's really really dense first and i just pluck my behind off just pulling those hairs out moving that tweezer from you know front to back not diagonal not sideways just front and back and i just pull it in that same motion but you want to be sure that you do not pluck in the same spot for too long because you do not want to create any holes or any patches um in your wig or in your lace so um you know whatever lace that you are plucking so just make sure you are moving uh, make sure you're combing that hair out to see what it's looking like and as you can see it's already thinning out here in this section but to be honest the main thing about plucking is having the right tweezers you have to make sure and i showed you guys before i started plucking the type of tweezers that i like to use i like to make sure they are flat and wide not the ones that's round on the ends it needs to be flat nice and sharp that way it's easy for you to pull the hairs and i also always pluck while the hair is wet it's way way easier um, when you pluck when the hair is wet because it's just like the hair just you know pulls out much easier versus the hair being dry and then you know you really feel like you really have to snatch to get those hairs out but as you can see this hairline looks totally different already from what I was doing and as I get enough pulled out I just pull more and more down you know pull it back and I just pluck in between those places again just to ensure that it will be very natural and not bulky and once I get that plucked out, I will do the very last section was the hairline section and pluck some of those hairs out too. So it do not give off that straight across hairline. So I will go in a little bit more in that front. And then as far as the other side, I did go ahead and do that off camera. But just take your time when you're plucking. I know it looks super fast because I sped the video up, but that's why when I first started plucking, I should, you know, I slowed it down so you guys can really see but you can already see the difference of what it was looking like before and here was the after look after i was done plucking the whole front so very 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 natural and now it's time to do the installation and the moment you all have been waiting for the restock date the restock date if you do not follow my social medias then you probably did not see but the restock date is december 20th 12 o'clock midnight okay so not midnight going into the 21st i'm talking about december 19th once the clock strikes 12 it is now december 20th and that's when the restock is okay it is a midnight 24 hour online restock so make sure you guys have your alarm set and you are ready to make your purchase i'm actually behind the scenes right now prepping um the deluxe packages it's going to be a certain amount of packages if you want to purchase everything i'm going to make like two different packages that you could purchase if you don't want to buy you know the items individually or one by one like i will have some package deals and as y'all can see i'm going in today boo with my largest bottle of my lace mid adhesive and this extremely large bottle the mega bottle is 85 dollars and i am also using my um my little edge brush spreader 
to do that and also before I apply my layers of adhesive I did use my skin protectant you must protect that skin you know just in case you sweat a lot any irritations or anything you know you never know what you're allergic to until you use it but you want to protect your skin and scalp at all times so um once I add my you know my layers of adhesive I will begin to lay my wig down and for today's slay guys I only use two layers okay and I'm showing y'all how sticky that first layer is and as y'all can see my finger got stuck and I snatched a little piece but that's all right we ain't even gonna talk about that we just gonna go ahead and add that second coat and get it nice and spread it so I only use two layers today and my wig was on tight okay this glue does not play no freaking games okay so make sure you remember december 20th restock date 12 o'clock midnight be there or be square and we have more than enough so i will have another restock right after if you did miss the very first one that will be on december 20th but however now that i have my um layers on i'm just gonna go ahead and push my lace down into that glue just apply a little bit of pressure uh with my comb and my fingertips and once it's all on there, I will go ahead, blow dry, you know, blow dry and hot comb that lace on end before I actually tie it down with that melt belt and let it secure for about five to 10 minutes. So after letting that melt belt sit for about five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and remo um, remove it and begin to cut off my extra lace. Now, because I do have a um, bigger forehead towards the center of my head, I do have to cut off um, some of that, um, you know, extra lace off the front. So I just pulled some hair down and, you know, I slit the wig down the middle. Now I'm just going in with the razor and just razoring off all of that extra lace that I do not need in the center of my head first. And then I will work my way down on each side. And also going, um, once I have everything, you know, raise it off and cut off and everything like that, I will go ahead and tack down the edges of the lace that is still lifting. And I will just repeat these same exact steps on both sides of my head until I have all of that lace tacked down completely. And right now I'm I um I am using the edge brush with the rat tail end so I can easily just slide that glue underneath those places that you know may be short or you know for the areas that also have bigger lifting areas um I could just easily slide that glue right up under there and spread it out so it turns clear uh really fast and um if you do accidentally do get a little bit of that glue on the lace just try to like rub it out or tap it out but either way it goes it's still going to dry clear and it would not look you know dirty or messy or anything like that so right now i'm just zooming in and showing you guys how i push that lace down using that edge brush 
um, right into that glue and I'm just going to make sure I get every little piece and if I don't need the piece I will simply just cut it off but I will repeat these steps on both sides of my hairline. So I tacked every down, uh, every down. <laughs> so I tacked all the lace down and I blow dried it just really quickly on the heat setting with the blow dryer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my side part. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, do y'all see how bomb this color looks? Like I absolutely love this color and this is without any dyes. This is only with that um, water bleach method. Like, do you see how pretty and vibrant this brown color is it kind of looks um brown it kind of like it's kind of highlighted like i thought maybe i was just tripping but i see like a mix of dark brown and light brown like it gave the prettiest caramel color like i absolutely loved it and if you guys forgot already this is a kinky straight wig like do you see the texture of this wig like it is bomb and y'all know what i hate doing the most and I am going to do it on camera today, y'all. So y'all should be like, girl, about time. Because I am finally able to do these doggone baby hairs on camera. And they looked good, y'all. Like, it looked so good. So before we even get into the baby hair sledge, I'm just going to part down the front hairline area where um, I will be using this hair for the baby hairs. And I just slid a little glue under that crack over there on the side. And I know a lot of people always get complaints. They say, um, how do I stop the sideburn part of my lace from lifting? You have to just make sure you are applying enough layers of glue in that area as well. And make sure that you have the wig cut correctly around your ear because if that wig is still sitting on top of your ear and it's not laying flat completely around your ear, that will also cause your sideburns to lift. So later on in this video, um, off camera, I did go ahead and cut some more off my ear because I had to go in the mirror and see what I was doing. But um, I just quickly plaited those baby hair sections out the way and I'm just going in with the beautiful Hustler Glam Wax Stick and just applied it on the front of their hairline and now I'm going in with the hot comb and just pressing out those edges so it could be nice and natural looking and sleek. And this is what I love most about that kinky straight texture. It gives you that really, really natural effect. Like, I love it. It looks super, super natural. And the end results was just bomb. But now that I had applied that wax and hot comb, I also just took the remaining foundation that was on my brush and just tapped it across my hairline. Because, you know, with transparent lace, you can't get, like, a white residue if you're not using enough foundation or using the correct techniques to give you that nice blended look. But once you do have that settled, just go ahead and tie down your hairline once again after spraying your holding spray to your hairline and let that dry completely before removing the melt belt and I did let that dry completely and removed it and this is the effects melt.com okay melt 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 scalp 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 lace melt melt belt techniques all that okay so December 20th midnight don't forget don't say i ain't tell y'all don't come on my comments asking me when the restock date everything will be on the website even if it's not there right now i will update the site everything is going to be there the caps the the lace prep um the remover the um what else i have a new product that i'm showing you guys in my next tutorial that i'm not going to tell y'all right now but just everything will be on the website it will be right there you can order it you can buy it okay 
so now for today and y'all know i got this baby hair tutorial that's gonna drop but i just wanted to show y'all how i am using the gel method to do my baby hairs and i'm using the edge brush and this is the got to be gel um if you been on my channel from day one when i only had like 20k subscribers y'all know i was slaying these doggone baby hairs with this got to be and then i taught myself about the little holding spray method you know because you just you know as your career progressed you just learn new techniques and you get you know used to using them and then sometimes you just want to go back to the basics you just want to go all the way back to where you started in a lace game so i am going in with that got to be gel and i am getting these baby hairs okay swoops so um, for my baby hair look today, I was just going with the flow. I was just letting my mind and my hands and just the gel just do what it do. Like, I didn't have a certain mindset of how I wanted my baby hairs to come. I just went with the flow. Like, whatever came to mind is what came to mind. And the key to doing baby hairs, um, you want to make sure you cut those hairs short enough or long enough, depending on what style of baby hair you are doing. And um, for these, I just cut it, you know, I, I didn't cut all of it at once because I did not necessarily know how I wanted my baby hairs to be swooped. Like if I wanted some pieces to be longer so I could do like the little, you know, the little seahorse hooks and all of that. So um, you see that I just, every time I got ready to do another baby hair, I just cut more hair. So you could try that that way too. Maybe that'll help you out better um, instead of just cutting everything one length at one time, just cut each baby hair as you go along and that can help you just get everything placed right but for the first time in america y'all i did my baby hairs with no issue and i was just too happy with the outcome and this is what it looked like when i was done with that gel and the benefits of doing your baby hairs with the gel it does last way longer most baby hairs y'all know they don't last long holding spray gives you a nice little hole but nine times out of ten if you get wet that mousse is i mean that holding spray just gonna kind of loosen up but with that gel and i tell you i know like when you use a right the right amount don't overdo it because you don't want it to be like wet um white and crunchy just enough to get you swooped and get you um like get that nice little hold mold to it like you your baby hairs can really last you like the whole two weeks three weeks that you have your hair stock in like if you really tie your hair down and if you don't know how to tie your hair down, y'all know we got them beautiful hustler sleeping beauty bonnets. So do not play long hair, short hair. We got you covered, baby. Everything will be on the website, December 20th. So, um, but using that gel, it really keeps your baby hairs intact for a long time. So I noticed that once I did the baby hairs with the gel in my most recent installations, like even if their hairstyle was in for two to three weeks, they baby hairs were still in place. And a lot of women do not know how to refix their baby hairs. So, boom, I'm going back to that gel method. I would still do um, the holding spray. I would still show you all methods in the baby hair tutorials. But me personally, I'm going to just stick with the holding spray and probably the gel, you know, combined just to get it, you know. You just to make sure you 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 are right you're gonna be good for a while but anywho as far as the curls i did use a curling wand to achieve my curls and i didn't i wasn't going for the perfect curls and going piece by piece little piece by little piece no i just want you know went in and just started curling pieces because i didn't want it to be super flat i did want big curls so i used um my curling iron um i don't know the brand but i would do a curling video soon but I just went ahead and curled everything up and just kind of soft teased it out. I didn't comb through it too much. I just kind of like fluffed it out with my fingers. And this was the finishing look. And I will be back when my makeup is done. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I showed y'all a lot of stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for video number three. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.